Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts. We have shot down a big, big um, landing ship over here, which has a different layout from what I've been used to in the beta. Oh yeah, it has um, elevators over here, lifts over here now, instead of in the back, that's quite interesting. I like it more now, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're still fighting, there's another sniper over here somewhere, we don't know where. Uh, but it's it's going okay. Let's end the turn. It's going quite fine. I have one soldier exposed. I think it's Mefatu down there on, on the bottom of the map. Let's hope he doesn't get spotted by the sniper. Oh, more side attacks. Yeah, that's, I think, the best option here. A guy with a shield away from the UFO and others to get side attacks. So that's pretty good. Oh, what was that? A civilian, right? All right. Um, let's find out where the hell that guy... That alien went. Oh! oh, bloody hell, that was lucky. Captain Missy, you are so lucky. Uh, well, you can do two shots at 55. <laughs> nice. Come on, one more shot at 95. <laughs> Perfect. Even though you were quite wounded there, you still pulled through nicely. Oh, damn it. That's what I was afraid of. These guys will not have medkits because they're quite green yet. Oh, Ca Corporal Mefatu does have a medkit. Come on, Mefatu. Run over there. Give your buddy some support. <clears throat> He's bleeding. Okay, now, the UFO situation. Let's get another sniper into position. And open the doors. Oh, they, they moved a little bit. Nice. Now I don't know which one is uh, wounded. <laughs> right, uh, 8%, 7%. Well, let's go for the 8% then, I guess. <laughs> nice. Well, one one hit is fine. It's pretty awesome. Major battle bunny. 32. Right, let's go for that one. <laughs> Come on, finish him off, guys. There you go. A hundred and five. Ooh. Uh. Ow. Shia LaBeouf got hurt, I believe. Yep, she did. Well, that's all right. It's not a huge deal for now. I'll just take a shot. Why not? You might get lucky with 11%. Uh, right, Major Yamo. Very nice. Uh, and Jezdemo. 27. Bloody hell! You guys are great! <laughs> oh wow, Jasmine killed him with such low percentages, that's pretty amazing. Alright, close the doors again. That was very nice. Alright. Quite a lot of uh, aliens, I have to say. And they've got sniper rifles already, so, yep. It's gonna, go it's gonna become interesting. Alright, that's the civilian turn now. Yep. Five damage, that's quite a nasty wound. Right. Captain Missy, you're out for this one, but you've done well. Let's get you all healed up, shall we? Oh no, wait, who has? Mefato has the uh, medkit, so go over to him. He will help you. Okay. There we go, all better now, Captain Missy. Take it easy now, alright? You have to lick your wounds. Let's get the rest of the people over there. I'm just gonna check this area just in case there's any more aliens. I don't think there are, but just in case. Right, open the doors again. Oh, there's still two aliens. Oh yeah, we've only killed one. Sheila Booth. 10%? Yeah, let's go. 10% times 10. Yeah, one of the one of the shots would have hit. Nice, but he's still alive. Quite interesting. 50%? Nice. And he's suppressed. Well, if uh, Kassler here can get a shot, that would be very nice. He needs some kills. Major Riyamu. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, you guys are doing excellently. I think we can actually go inside the UFO now. Yep. Anyone with enough time units can. Oh, we gotta be 
actually <laughs> extra careful about these uh, um, lifts, though. Or teleporters. Um, right, Captain K needs to get over there. He wants some action! End the turn. Oh, Missy has become nerfed, but that's alright. Yeah, it must be like just two aliens probably left, maybe three. An officer plus two guards or something. Captain K, run! Alright, now, shield the booth. Oh, Riyamo needs to reload. That's, you don't see that often. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Right. Let's get uh, ready to uh, go through the uh, teleporters. Major battle money. I'm just going to go over here. Just watch the teleporters for now. Major Ryamu. Hmm. No really good place to place... Actually, this is okay, because you've got a lot of obstacles between you and that teleporter. And you've got an obstacle and you can crouch between this teleporter. Sheila Booth. I would like her to go this way. So we can have sort of equal firepower on both sides. Zero. Uh, no, don't really like that. Oh yeah, of course you can't jump over these things. How about you go over here then? And Jezdemol can go over there. Alright, brilliant. Let's hope there's not an alien back there. That would be pretty nasty. Mifatu, let's run. Henchman, we would need your shield, but... Oh, hmm. I need to make sure that there's no one here. Captain Missy, you just stay over here. Take it easy. And the turn. Okay. Oh yeah, and remember how I was saying that the side attacks are either uh, yes or no, and if they succeed, they just uh, work like suppression for morale, but that's not actually true, because uh, Captain Missy's morale went down more than half, so, hmm. It doesn't actually work that way. Interesting. Right. Battle Bunny, it's your turn, let's go. Whoa! Bloody hell! I like this a lot. Okay. So they've actually... Oh, there's the doors. Uh, so they've actually made damage on the in the UFOs now. Was that there before? No, certainly not this kind of fire. So this is where the aliens have died. Holy crap, what the hell am I going to do here? <laughs> how, did, how did anything survive? It's quite bizarre. Okay. This is interesting. Right, um... Captain Russian Prime Minister. Hello? No one here. Everything dead. It's pretty awesome. Major Riyamo, let's go. It's gonna be uh, pretty horrible to try to hit something there. But it's pretty cool to see Shia LaBeouf. I want her firepower, but she's pretty darn low on health. I'll have to be really careful. Mm, I don't want you to be there. Although from here you won't be able to shoot. Mifatu, let's go. Get inside if you can. Captain K as well. Private Kessler. Or Kessler. No really good place to place you over here. Let's try this place. Jezdemol. It's probably just one alien. And I'm preparing, uh, preparing like it's the end of the world. <laughs> right, anyone else? Henchman is checking this area out. Yeah, I don't think there's any aliens over here. Oh well. Okay, in the turn. Yeah, yeah, just go for the people that aren't really important at the moment. So that's good. Hidden movement. Alright, <clears throat> now, moment of truth. Let's have the shield. Mr. Russian Prime Minister, open the doors. Whoa, okay! So this wasn't actually on fire. There's another engine here. There's a one alien and the officer. 
I don't suppose we have enough to throw a grenade. No, we don't. But we will have next turn. Um, can we actually shoot from here? I doubt. We can! Wow. Of course, there is a chance we hit our buddy over there. Oh, very nice. Very nicely done, Jasdemo. Could have actually tried to, um... You know, um... Let's close the doors. Could have actually tried to... What did I want to say? Do a burst shot. Yeah, but th that's fine. We'll just uh, throw some gas grenades in there. Right, so we've got two snipers and battle bunny. Well, private castler is the closest one. Let's make sure... Oh, there's another one there. So with a big weapon, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, Private Battle Bunny has some gas grenades, so that should come in handy. Why can't you get over there? Oh, because everything is blocked. Right. Well, my first priority is to get the officer there. I don't think that's that counts as a leader. But, yeah, we're gonna try it. Right. Jesnamo also has a gas grenade, so that's pretty good. I think I'm just gonna end the turn. I don't need more people up here. It's already crowded enough as it is. I really do like this layout a lot more, though. There's a lot more options to hide and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Right. Let's see. Right. Sheila Booth can actually shoot there. That's pretty awesome. Right, let's throw this. They'll probably be not very amused. And they'll shoot... Ah, that wasn't great. That was okay, I guess. Yep. Ooh, that's a sniper. That's a rifle. Really? Let me... Let Shia LaBeouf show you what firepower is. Both suppressed. I should probably should have done that first. Um... 31. <laughs> Oh no, that was the officer! Oh, they've changed position! <laughs> Crap. Oh well, whatever. Oh man. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's close the doors. That was funny. Come on, close the doors. Right, now. Let's throw that other thing. Other gas grenade. Where, where was it? Ah, bloody hell. It was not the place I wanted it. Damn it. Everyone back out. <laughs> oh well. Let's see what they do. These hidden, mov hidden movements are quite long now. There he is. That's so awesome. Okay, Shield the Boof is in the way. Let's move her out a little bit. Out of the way, I mean. Oof. Well. Now there's not that many obstacles in the way. Not bad. Um. Yeah, shame we killed the, uh. The main guy over there, but. Oh well. Whoa! Not bad! Not bad! Close the doors, please. Ah, not enough to close them. Ah, bloody hell. Okay, he's only got a rifle. He doesn't have a sniper rifle. Oh, well, Shia LaBeouf di did it, so that's okay. And the turn again. I hope the soldiers get are getting a lot of experience with this. Well, unfortunately, Shia LaBeouf can't shoot now. Yeah, because she doesn't have enough time units. Oh, well. Jasdemo, take him out. Whoa, this guy is quite hardy. Bloody hell, my mouse. My mouse is, uh, yeah, my mouse is the right button. As I've said many times now, is a bit on the wonk now. Ah, now we've got you. <laughs> oh, he did have a sniper rifle, did he? Hmm. Right, now the only thing that's left is just run up to the uh, last guy with the shield. Hopefully he doesn't have a plasma shotgun or something. What the hell was that? Oh, that must have been one of the, um... That must have been one of the civilians opening one of these big doors. 
But all of these big doors have been opened. Ah, here, here. Yep, that's what's been opened. Alright, they need to change that. They need to change the sound of the uh, big alien doors and the... Uh, and the normal civilian doors. Alright, he's right there. Th oh! Ooh, that was lucky. Why did I do that? Should have waited. Oh, 17. Not bad. Ooh, he's right there. Ooh. Um, Private Castler, don't fall asleep, please. Damn it. We need someone to shoot that bastard. You can't. Hmm. Ah! Major Riamo fell asleep. Oh well, that's alright. Jezdemo. Uh, actually, how much to throw a grenade? Oh, that's pretty alright. If he falls asleep, he's already hurt a little bit. And <laughs> Russian Prime Minister resisted it. Okay, this should be pretty good, actually. Now, right, let's see what happens. Nope. That was ping. Ow! Whoa, Prus Russian Prime Minister is almost dead. That was ballsy. Oh, and Jezdemol fell asleep. Let's kill this guy. Kill him. There you go. Wow, Russian Prime Minister gravely injured for only 12 days, though. But got a Crimson Heart, awarded for suffering a serious wound in the service of humanity, and promoted to Major. Captain Kassler promoted to Corporal. Uh, Captain K promoted to Corporal as well. Excellent. Sergeant Mifatu promoted to Sergeant. Sheila Booth injured for six days. Missy injured for ten days. Battle Bunny promo uh, got the Long Service Medal. Active participation in 20 combat missions, as does Major Riamo. Very nice. Alright, we've only lost two local... Uh, no, one force. One local forces and one civilian, so that's alright. And we didn't lose any Xenonauts, so that's pretty good. Alien armor plating. I like the sound of that. Heavy plasma weapons. We're gonna finish that, and then we're gonna go straight to alien armor plating. Landing ship data core. Interesting. Um... Armor plating fitted to alien capital ships is unusually strong for its thickness. Studying it may allow us to develop new protective equipment. Yes, please. Oh, there's an alien base, yeah, which we'll have to get before the end of the month. Unfortunately, quite a lot of people are hurt now. Let's get the two Corsairs over there if we can. Maybe do something about these UFOs. They've probably left for the... for space now, but... Let's see. Yep, there we go. Low on fuel, damn it. Yeah, I'll have to be careful. Um, I need to take this base out because the uh, Soviet Union... Oh, okay, it's poor relations, but it's plus predicted change now. Indochina! Oh, bloody hell, yeah, Indochina is the one I need. Look at that, minus 107,000. They're going to leave the funding if we don't do this now, so... Ooh, Australasia as well, wow. Austral well, I think we're gonna lose either one of these. It's not great. Good. Where's the superb ratings? Still bad rating. Wow, funding level very low. But they're quite happy for this month. It's okay over here as well. Alright. The landing ship is a medium-sized alien craft with an unusually large crew. Though bulkier and more powerful than the corvette, this saucer-shaped craft is actually primarily a transport vessel. The saucer is split into a bridge on the upper level and a cargo hold on the lower level, comfortably large enough to accommodate a terror squad or even the equipment, equipment we believe could be required to establish a permanent alien facility on the surface of our planet. These two rooms are joined by a pair of teleportation devices that instantaneously transport any unit that steps onto one of the platforms over, over to the other. Despite studying them extensively, we still have no idea at all how these devices function. Almost as interesting as the armor plating on the exterior of the ship, it requires immense firepower to crack one of these vessels open, which we assumed was due to more extensive armor plating, but troublingly, the landing ship actually has much less armor plate than the corvette. 
We have taken samples of this hardened plate for further study. The vessel's primary weapon is just a scaled-up version of the cannon on the corvette, but it, is also, uh, it also possesses a small rapid-fire secondary weapon that packs sufficient punch to make a frontal approach inadvisable. Right. So, uh, how long? Ten hours to get there, okay. So I can, uh, I'm gonna try to skirt this end of the month. Okay, there we go. Rapid fire plasmas. Yeah, we now have plasmas vari uh, plasma variants of our generic infantry weapons, such as pistols and rifles. But we're still lacking the equivalent for a high rate of fire weapons, such as the machine gun or interceptor auto cannon. The infantry portable plasma caster and the more substa uh, substantial aircraft mounted plasma blaster have been designed to fill this void. They work on similar principles. Both expel a large amount of plasma in the form of a sustained stream. Utilizing a large generation array that continuously discharges superheated plasma. In ordinary conditions, it would be difficult to focus this stream and it would dissipate quickly, giving it short range and poor armor penetration. However, we have solved this problem by employing a ring of five graviton generators around the muzzle of the weapon. These fire sequentially, re regularly injecting gravitons into the plasma and breaking the stream up into a string of individual particles. Uh, projectiles, actually. This effect replicates the f high rate of fire of conventional automatic weapons and combines it with the extra damage of a plasma weapon. Both should make useful upgrades in our fight against the extraterrestrials. Well, this is a really nice weapon, but this is really what I was going for. Now the Corsairs will be doubly um, dangerous. Plasma Mark I. So, ooh, wow, look at... what the hell is that thing? The plasma bolt is a heavy plasma weapon that fires explosive plasma projectiles that inflict severe damage on the target and anything else caught in the blast. It has been used to upgrade our base defense batteries. Ah, that's the base defense. Uh, but can also be mounted on our combat vehicles. The weapon uses an enhanced version of the plasma generation system used in our infantry plasma weapons, making full use of the space available in a vehicle turret. Every important component has been scaled up to improve the overall power of the weapon, though not all have been resized equally. Example, we have fitted a dis disproportionately large alenium power cell, which boosts the damage of the weapon but also increases ammunition capacity. The resulting projectile is almost twice as large as the one produced by the infantry plasma rifle, and this has far better damage and armor penetration. It is also useful for point defense weapon for our facilities. The bolt is powerful enough to inflict damage on a target several kilometers away, and we have performed additional work on spinning the projectile to prevent it veering badly off target over distance. The rotary force imparted by the helical electromagnets in the weapon is lost after only a hundred meters or so, making it worthless for anti-air battery fire. But we have discovered a second graviton generator that can be used in tandem with the first to create a linked pair of gravitons that orbit one another. The entire projectile spins as they do so, allowing it to maintain a stable flight path for several kilometers. Now that just looks nasty. Look at that. That looks very cool. All right. Well, anyway, we are going to continue next time when we take on the first alien base. And I have a feeling it's going to be civilians and reapers. Ugh. I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>